it's Laura Christian here. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to be filming this video um, because it is about highlighting and contouring and it's probably one of the most favorite things that I like to do in my beauty routine. Um, so if you would like to know how do I highlight, how do I contour, what is baking, like what does all this mean? Um, and then especially as someone with a deeper skin tone, how do I make it work? Then stay tuned, I will walk you right through it. All right, so jumping right in, as you can see, my brows are already done, my eyes are pretty much done, and then I also already have my foundation. Before you get into contouring, highlighting, sculpting, all of that, you need to make sure that you start with a good base. A good base always starts with skincare. So I have already gone and moisturized, so using the Mary Kay TimeWise 3D Moisturizer. Um, I have normal to dry skin, more dry than normal. Um, just depending on like what's going on with the weather and the humidity here in Florida So I have moisturized it has SPF in it So I'm set there and then also because I will be focusing on my under eye area and concealing and putting powder there Always good to make sure that you use an eye cream so you can either use the time-wise eye cream or I actually use the time-wise repair Just because it has the little metal ball on the end. It feels so good under your eyes um, so I've moisturized my skin, I've actually added an eye cream, and then I've already gone in with my foundation. So this is the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Foundation in W140. Um, I went ahead and just added that all over my face, added it to my chin, my jawline. And so we are going to jump right in. So what is highlighting, contouring, sculpting, all the different phrases you hear? So basically it's just a way to add dimension and depth to the face. So basically what you're doing is anywhere where the sun would naturally hit and tan or bronze your skin, you're going to add your bronzer contour. Um, and contouring is just adding the shadow. So adding the depth to make your face either look larger, to make it look slimmer, to make it look more defined. That is all you're doing with contouring. And then highlighting is the exact opposite. So anywhere where the sun would not naturally hit your face or where you want there to be more light, that is where you would add your highlight. So we're talking underneath the eyes, obviously concealing to conceal dark circles, anything that you don't want to appear um, darker than what it is. So under the eye and then to even everything out, you would maybe add it to like the center of your forehead. If you want your forehead to look larger, smaller, you can also add it to your chin, your smile lines underneath your contour. It's really just art. So just think about adding depth or adding light. That is all it is. Um, so I'm going to show you how I highlight and contour my face. So hopefully I have some tips that are helpful for you. Um, so I'm actually going to start, I have two concealers here. These are the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealers. I have one in the shade Deep Beige and then I have another in the shade Light Bronze. Light Bronze is closer to, it's not my skin tone, but it's as close to my skin tone as we're going to get. So I'm going to use this just to conceal and then we'll jump in with Deep Beige to highlight. To use this just to clean up a little bit of the eyeshadow that I have right there and then if I left it just in this area you totally can it's up to you I just like for it to look a little more even and then also my forehead is quite large in my opinion so I use it just in the center here to bring down my forehead because then I'm going to contour on top to make it look a little bit smaller and then I will also highlight the bridge of my nose my cupids go to make it look more um, what's the word? I don't know, just to highlight, to bring it out, right? So anything, anywhere that you're highlighting, you're trying to bring light to, you're trying to bring it out. And then I'll also do the middle of my chin. All right, so I'm gonna take my Mary Kay blending sponge and I'm just going to blend all of that out. And I leave my eyes for the end to blend just because I let that sit there a little bit. There's plenty of people on YouTube and makeup artists that do that. Um, I just find that it does help to give a little bit more coverage. So learn that trick from Jackie I know, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite YouTubers. If you don't know who she is, please go check her out. She's amazing. I also bring it down just a little bit because my cheek area um, gets red. 
intends to be very red. So I want to conceal in that area as well. And just so you know, my beauty sponge is wet. It's actually damp. Um, I run it underwater just to make sure that it's easy to squeeze and mold and use. It is way easier to use damp. I recommend only using it when it's damp unless you're using it for powder because it doesn't work as well. And then I'll also go around my nose um, just because I tend to get red there. Anywhere where you get red, you can also use concealer. Um, so at this point, you can go in under where your contour would be. Um, it's kind of like reverse contouring to where you go ahead and add some light underneath there to go ahead and help protrude your your um, cheekbones. All right, so you can totally stop there with concealing. On a normal day, I would, um, but we're going to add just one more step and I'm gonna take deep beige and I'm only gonna use this in the inner corner of my eye just to add a little more brightness. So when it comes to highlighting and contouring for deeper skin tones, it's the exact same technique, you just have to find the correct shades for you. Um, you can also take it down the side of your nose to help slim um, your nose. My nose already is kind of slim, so I don't, I don't really contour my nose like that, but you totally can. So highlighting is pretty much done. So as you can see, the inside of my face, so wherever area of your face that your heart falls into, that's a really good way to do it. Just know that's where you would want to highlight. So underneath your eyes, the center of your forehead, the center of your chin, um, anywhere in this center is where you want to highlight. And then of course, when it comes to contouring, we all know it's going to be the shadows. You're going to add the depth where you would do like a three down your face. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I contour depending on the day, depending on how much time I have. I will sometimes use a liquid contour. Um, or a cream contour before I go in with powder. Sometimes I'll just bronze, sometimes I will try to be super sculpted. It totally depends on you. Two things you can use for liquid or cream contour with Mary Kay is you can obviously go in with the concealer. So this is the Perfecting Concealer in Deep Bronze. This is what I use normally. If I'm trying to be very sculpted and I need my face to last like all day, then I will actually go in with one of the deeper bronze time-wise foundations. So I can't, I haven't tried it with new foundations. I used to use bronze seven, which is very deep, beautiful shade, but very deep for me. Um, and I would use that to contour, but I haven't tried it with the new foundations yet. So we're going to stick with the deep bronze concealer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the areas that I want to add depth or I want to either slim or sculpt. And so for me, of course, it's going to be my forehead. It's also going to be my cheekbones and then it's going to be my jawline and my chin. And I will actually demonstrate the areas that I use it in, why, and then how I blend it out. So when using a liquid contour, you don't need a lot. Just a little bit will go a long way. And so what I do is I will focus on my forehead and I'll just say, put maybe a line here, a line here, a line here, and then a line here, a line here, a line here. Um, again, you don't need a lot, but as you can see, it's not too deep. It's deeper than my skin tone, but it's not extremely dark, and that's where you have to be careful because you don't want to be too dramatic, but you also wanna make sure that you're not like going overboard. So finding a shade works, especially if deep bronze isn't deep enough for your skin tone, then I would definitely recommend using one of the foundations um, and just make sure it's one of the matte foundations to go ahead and then sculpt. So the next, I'm going to focus on my cheekbones. And so what I do is I thankfully naturally have high cheekbones. Thanks mom and dad um, and Jesus. But what I also do is you can look at either the tip of your ear and see where the tip is and then follow the line down or you can just feel for your cheekbone. Once you find the hollow area of your cheekbone, that's where you know you're going to add the um, contour. So for me, I kind of naturally know where mine falls, so I literally just go and I put a line here, just a little bit, and then also drive to the other side, and then do another line. Now what's great about a liquid contour is if you need to clean it up, you can clean it up very easily just by adding um, your concealer or your foundation over it. So I'm going to add that there, that there, and then I'm also going to go along my jawline 
And then for me, I like for my chin to look a little more pointed. So then I literally just find like the area of my chin that I want to round and then point out. And I just do a little, a little U down there. And then um, I also go underneath my lip. So that way um, it helps to add depth. And so as you can see, my bottom lip obviously looks a little more fuller just by adding that line there, but we'll make sure to blend that out. You always want to blend upward. Um, because blending down defeats the purpose. We are working against gravity here um, to make things look a little more lifted. So as you can see, my chin already looks a little more um, pointed. My cheeks look a little more lifted. Um, my forehead hopefully looks a little smaller. Sorry, there's a plane going by. Um, so, yeah. Now, one thing I always do after I add my contour is then I'll flip back over my beauty sponge and just make sure that I didn't bring the contour in too far. Um, that way it doesn't touch the highlight too much, but just make sure that everything from this point is nice and blended. So now we have added all of our liquids. Um, make sure everything again is blended. My eyes crease underneath. So I just make sure that I blend that back out. And then next we are going to set where we put the concealer. And then I will also show you how you can set your liquid contour with the powder contour. So taking now my Mary Kay translucent powder, I am actually going to use my sponge. And first and foremost, I'm gonna make sure that my under eyes are blended. If you put on powder to set your concealer without blending it out, you're literally just setting the creases. So make sure that everything under there is nice and blended. And then I'm gonna go in with powder. Now, at this point, you can do what is called baking. And so basically what baking is, is you're taking extra powder, you're putting it on top of where you already put your concealer, um, and you're letting it sit. Obviously, as humans, our body temperature fluctuates between like 97 and 98 degrees, um, so you're literally warming up the powder so that way it just sits and it melts into the skin, and then you wipe off the excess. When I want to look super glam and super done up and just want my makeup to be flawless and last all day, then I will do that. On a normal day though, I'm just going to set the powder and then go about my business. What's great about this powder too is especially for deeper skin tones, it is literally translucent, like it looks white, um, but it literally blends out and you can't um, even tell like, oh, it was white. Like it's literally going to blend out to be whatever shade you have underneath it. So taking Mary Kay has two contour shades, one in latte and one in cocoa. Um, so I'm literally just gonna take, whoops, literally gonna take this one right here, which is in cocoa, and I'm going to go on top of where we put the liquid contour. So taking my Mary Kay cheek brush, this is awesome because it's literally tapered. Um, and so this side, the very tip I use for highlighting, this inside that's very um, hollow and dense, I will use for contouring. And then the middle, you can use either to blend out or you can use it for cheek color. So picking up cocoa, as you can see, I literally just have it on the very tip. Um, I'm going to tap off the excess and then I'm going to literally go right in where I put the contour. And I'm just gonna tap first and then I will blend it out. taking whatever is left. I don't really pick up any new product when I use it on my forehead. I'll just blend out everything on my forehead.
Just make sure when you do add it to your jawline that you bring it down so that way you don't have like a harsh brown line right there. Ah, oh, and then don't forget your lip. I do this all the time. <laughs> I'll forget to blend out your lip. There we go. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set that. Boom, yes. All right, so contour is on. It can look a little harsh until you're finished. So don't give up, go through. If you need to blend anything out, you can. If you brought your contour up too high, take some translucent powder, go ahead and clean up um, right underneath your eye or right underneath here um, with some powder. Everything is pretty much fixable when it comes to makeup. So that is how you contour and you highlight, but nothing is done until everything is done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna finish the bottom lash line add a lip color and then I will show you how I actually highlight my cheekbones with the highlighting shade. Alright, hey, I am back. My face is pretty much done. The only other thing I need to do is add my highlighter to my cheekbones. So I went ahead, I finished my bottom lash line, um, added some bottom mascara, and then of course went in with the lip color. So I just took medium nude lip liner plus my favorite lipstick, Truffle, um, and mixed that together and added shy blush to my cheeks. And so as you can see, the definition that comes after you add everything together you just look so sculpted um hopefully it doesn't look too much obviously i don't try to do like super dramatic makeup my goal is to always create fun looks but that are actually wearable it doesn't look like you just stepped out of a magazine um so hopefully i did that and the last thing we're going to do is add our highlighter and so i am actually going to use oh what shade is this um Honey Glow, that's what it is. We're gonna use Honey Glow highlighter and I'm gonna add that to the top of my cheekbones. Um, it looks like I already have a highlighter on, I promise I don't. Shy Blush is just such a beautiful chrome infusion blush um, that naturally has a highlight in it. So if you didn't wanna add any highlighter, get Shy Blush, it'll be your highlighter and blush forever. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add Honey Glow. So basically I'm just gonna take a small tapered brush, you can use an eyeshadow brush, you can use your fingers, um, and I'm just gonna add this to the tops of my cheekbones, I'm gonna add this to my cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, anywhere where when the sun hits my skin, I want to see a glow. Um, so it's normally the high points of your cheekbones, your brow bone, um, some people do their nose, the tip of their nose, your chin, um, above the brow, just anywhere. It's totally okay. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, on a brush and then just add this to the tops of my cheekbones and you can clearly see where I'm adding it and I'm adding a lot so that way so that way you can see it I also added to the apples of my cheeks um, and then just take it back like look at that so as you turn your head all you see is glow I love it I love it I love it Now, you can add more, you can add less, it's totally up to you. Um, I'm actually adding a lot because I want you to be able to see where I'm adding it on camera. <laughs> but, yeah. So as you can see the definition of your cheeks, you see the blush, you see the highlight. Um, and one other thing that I do is after I always add a highlight, I will go in with a sponge or a brush and just make sure that it is blended and it doesn't look too harsh. Like the one thing you don't want is your highlight just sitting on top of your skin. Like you want it to actually like blend in with the rest of your face. All right. And the last step in any makeup routine is always just setting your face. So I'm gonna use my Mary Kay setting spray really quickly. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Um, I hope I was able to help some of you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free. Message me, reach out to me. I would love to interact um, and help in any way that I can. But 
yeah thanks for hanging out with me i hope it was helpful and i will see you guys in my next video bye